It is 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday, August 23rd, 2024. Um, it's about 75 degrees with 50 or 60 percent humidity. And we moved the, the rams and the puppies to a new area here. The cows were here yesterday, so there's a bunch of cow manure. Um, I think this is a good pattern, just have them uh, follow the cows uh, by a day and leave them here for two or three days. It's probably uh, not ideal in terms of grass consumption, but I think it's a good idea. They kept running out of water, so I filled up that water to the brim. So hopefully they won't run out of water this time. They should have plenty of water. Um, this is a tree that I tried to cut down and um, it started to fall perfectly, but the top got tangled up in the other tree and I've been waiting for this to fall. I don't want to get hurt trying to trying to clean it up, but um, so far I just, it hasn't fallen on its own. So it could be a while before this tree actually falls, but this tree was split uh, like six ways to, to Sunday. Uh, the last ice storm which happened uh, a year and a half ago in February and uh, we had a big ice storm and it uh, it tore the branches off you can see there's a pile of branches lying here there's some over there and there's a pile of branches here um, I think it's kind of funny people move into this area and uh, you know they clean up their yard or whatever and they're like hey I've got free firewood and everybody's like uh-huh we all got free firewood you know <laughs> The trees here, they grow quick, but they fall apart quick too. So it's not uncommon to, you know, if you don't manage your forest at all, if you don't cut down the dead trees, that half of them will be dead. Um, and new trees popping up everywhere. But yeah, so I would like to learn how to manage trees better. And I've been watching YouTube videos kind of passively just seeing what other people do but I really like these areas especially in the summertime where the trees are kind of spread out like a park it just I really like it I just got to figure out how to have the trees grow back because I'm worried that if I keep um, you know grazing around here the trees won't grow back I don't know maybe they will there's some signs that there's a new tree growing right there for instance you know anyway um, this area is made of two fences. I think the fences are 175 feet long. So the perimeter is 350 feet. Um, divide 350 by 4 and square that. That's the area in square feet. Um, there's plenty of forage to eat here for the, the ram lambs. Um, Bailey got excited when she saw the puppy. She came in. I'm, I'm just going to keep Bailey in here too, I think. I think it's better if Bailey stays away from the boy dogs. At least for a year or so. You know, and also I think Bailey has some fairly good instincts when it comes to the sheep. Um, um, so hopefully Bailey will be a good influence on these puppies. Um, I don't think these rams will run from the puppies when they're approached. Two of them were bottle fed, so two of them are very friendly. Um, so I don't think it'll be a big issue. And I think the sheep like brushy areas like this. They just feel more comfortable where they can hide and climb through brush when they want to and there's lots of good things for them to eat um, they don't like the wide open spaces as much so anyway I got to feed the dogs by hand because I can't let the sheep eat the dog food um, so it looks like they're already done so I'll come back tomorrow morning and feed them again I want to get the dog feeder set up but uh it looks like they're done. So, all right, guys, have a great day. Take care and bye bye.